Players Week in Jersey. Yeah. One to ten, grade it, and why? Man, I'm gonna give it a, a ten. It's sick, and it got a TA7 on the back. It's something fun that Major League Baseball do with us, and uh, bring yourself and do do something that's that's special. Get the kids into it too, as well, and uh, you know. It's a fun weekend. Now, what you do with your cleats and what will you be doing with the uniform and everything like that? Is it going down to the man cave? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to frame the jersey, the cleats, man. I'm going to sign them and uh, hopefully I can put it in the same case and uh, put it down in my basement. It'd be something special, you know, special moments uh, when I retire. You got another cool collectible. Yeah. Got your own bobblehead. That's an awesome bobblehead. You're sliding head first. Yeah. It's not the usual kind of like swinging one. Right. What you think about it? Man, also, that's... one to ten. I'm gonna get out of 10. It's pretty sick. You know, growing up, man, you know, not, not many people get their own bobblehead. And, you know, uh, for me to do it in the, in the big leagues, man, it's pretty sick. You know, it's a, definitely a special moment for me and uh, my family. And, uh, you know, my daughter, man, she loved it. So, uh, you know, it's pretty sick, man. It's, it's something that you're gonna remember forever. Did you get any extras and also yeah. have fans ask you to sign the bobblehead? Yeah, definitely. I got extras. And, uh, yeah, I did. I signed as many as I could uh, at the home stadium. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool to have your own bobblehead. Next in Chicago, you get a chance to meet a lot of cool dudes. Yeah. Jabari Parker right here and Carlos Boozer. Yeah. Is that one of your favorite parts about being a big league ball player is getting to meet people like this? Definitely, definitely. You know, meeting different guys and uh, you know, I used to, I was a big basketball guy coming up, so uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a Bulls fan. To meet guys like that is definitely, you know, uh, it's a blessing, man. You know, you don't you don't get to meet, you know, guys, guys like that growing up, especially from where I'm from. And also another good opportunity to add to the man cave right, with yeah. some stuff from those guys yourself. Yeah, I got, uh, got a couple of sound balls from them. Those will be going down the man cave too. Next, <laughs> showing off some Migos right here. Big Migos guy? Yeah, man, just, be, just you know, just kind of messing around on Instagram and, and being relatable to the fans. You know, fans like that. I try to give them a little insight of me and who I am and uh, what kind of music I listen to and uh, who I'm a fan of. What's your favorite Migos song? Man, there's so many of them, <laughs> but... Uh, I can't even think off top, but uh, I'm gonna say Walk Like I Talk It is a good one. The Culture Anthem is a good one. They sell out a lot of arenas. So here we got Quavo, who's showing off some style. He's yeah. showing off some of the bling. You yourself, you see the Gucci. Yeah, I got a little swag, man. <laughs> I got a little swag, man. I'm, I'm a big time family man. You know, uh, my family means the most to me, and uh, you know, family's first, man. You know, my wife, she's she's been been here the whole ride. You know, was, was there before before all this happened, and. Uh, you know, I just try to, you know, show them the world and, uh, you know, just be there. It's tough, you know, being a baseball player and uh, trying to be in your daughter's life, but uh, we make it happen. I try to take her everywhere I go and uh, she's enjoyed traveling. That's an awesome family she Yeah, I can't, forget, I can't forget my little man, Teddy, man. That's my boy, man. He, he's around and uh, he's, he's tearing up the house a little bit, but uh, we'll get it right. How'd you come up with the name Teddy? Uh, my daughter did. She was named Teddy Bear Anderson, man. She said he looked like a teddy bear, so we named him Teddy Bear. Now you guys are going to be dog family for life because she's still pretty young. So, yeah, um, yeah I could see uh, another Teddy in the picture. Oh, Maybe not now, not but now. down the not road. Not now. Maybe down the road, yeah. <laughs> not now. We're still trying to manage to get, get both of them to behave right on the same page. So uh, <laughs> we're figuring it out. <laughs> Going back to the Gucci that you're rocking, you know a thing or two about style. Yeah, that was actually on uh, Jackie Robinson Day. Pay tribute to him, man. You know they. Back in the day, that's how they dressed, and uh, he paved the way for us, for us African Americans. And uh, for me to do that is, 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 is definitely showing honor to him and uh, thanking him a lot for what he does for us to open those doors and for us to, you know, step on the field. I take a lot of pride in it, man. I, I thought about, I thought about that for for maybe a week, mm -hmm. and uh, we was able to come together with some ideas, and uh, it turned out great. It's awesome that you did that because you see everybody wear the 42 jerseys, yeah. but I'd imagine that not that many people are actually. Right. Dressing up for yeah. the day before the game or after right. the game, yeah, man. Kinda, the same way that he did. So yeah. that's that's cool. Thing kind of do it all in off the field. So uh, just having fun, man. You know, having fun with it and uh, you know, just just paying a lot of tribute to it. Oh, some more style. Yeah. Hey, the jacket. A little swag, man. <laughs> a lot of swag, man. You know, I, I like dressing up, man. It's fun. You know, mm -hmm. going when I was coming through the minor leagues, we didn't dress up much. Mm -hmm. But uh, once I got to the big leagues, man, I kind of got into the fashion thing, and uh, it's gonna turn out good, man. I, li I like putting different looks together, and I'm a big, I'm a big Gucci fan, <laughs> as you can see. I love the Gucci, man. All right, I gotta point out the jacket and the socks. That's a yeah. nice little combo you got yeah. going on. Yeah, I actually had a, a stylist named Charles Harris in uh, Chicago help me with that. He did my uh, photo shoot that I did with uh, the luxury magazine in, in Chicago, and uh, we kind of kept contact. And I would send him different looks, and uh, he would tell me yes or no. So uh, it actually turned out good, man. Would you say that you had the same sense of style back during your draft day? Because you can see the differences a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, w I wouldn't, man. I, you know, right there, that's a learning stage. I'm still trying to figure out who I am. <laughs> but uh, now I found myself. I found myself now. But, uh, you know, as you can see, the, the makeup on my collar from when my mom hugged me. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, that was just something we put together real quick. When we meet again, we'll be doing, you know, different looks. Sign us up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with every outfit comes a sweet, fresh right. haircut. That's what you start with. You start with the hair. <laughs> but you know, you, you start, with, start with a fresh fade and, uh, that's my man Khalif out in Arizona, man. He he been treating me right. Every time I go to Arizona, he comes cut me up. No matter what time it is and whenever, and that actually is late because I had just got in and uh, it was like he came through and uh, put a fresh fade on me. One thing about Instagram that's cool that you could use your platform for the yeah. greater good. And with those haircuts, you've been able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, my, my organization, Anderson Legal Leaders, it started uh, one of my friends passed. And, and I feel like, you know, he's just been living through me and uh, we've been, and I started Anderson Legal Leaders and uh, just giving back to the community uh, in the best ways that I can. and. Uh, kind of, you know, trying to impact the, the youth because they are our future. And, uh, you know, my wife, she does a lot of work and uh, she's the brain behind it. And she comes up with a lot of different ideas and this is, this is one of them. We have an event coming up, you know, actually this Saturday, Sunday, two day event, haircuts for kids in uh, Chicago and Bronzeville. Pretty pumped about that. That's gonna be excited to see how many kids come out and uh, you know, I like to be hands on. So I'll be there and uh, I'll be meeting the kids and man, it's, it's gonna be fun. And kind of like the style thing too it's like you try out so many different things and yeah. you find what works and what doesn't work yeah. what are some of the things that you're excited to try out with this you know man we got a lot of ideas uh you know we have tried we're going to try new things as in you know i'm going to do my first cap this year up in january uh that's going to be in my hometown you know something that gets the city into it you know because uh not many people have done what i did where i'm from and uh you know just giving back to my community is, is huge man i have a lot of support system there. Try to go in and do something different and, uh, you know, uh, bring some fun for the youth and the, and the kids and uh, give them a reason to smile. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to Teddy B. Yeah, out in Cleveland, man. His first road trip. <laughs> first road trip. We had just got him and uh, Teddy B was walking down in Cleveland and uh, got some good sun and, you know, showing him off and, and introducing him to Instagram. Did the Lion King inspire this photo? It's very uh, no, Rafiki sure, and Simba-esque. <laughs> yeah, that was a sick photo, man. Look at him, man. He's probably scared to death. How much does he weigh? Is he under 10 pounds? He, he actually right weighs now? seven pounds now. Seven pounds. Yeah, wow. Big she dog. Just, she just took him to the to, to get a checkup. He weighs seven pounds now. Oh, so he, he's growing to us, but not to the world because I mean he he, he looks the same size now. But <laughs> he's gonna stay small. Yeah, that's the plan, man. I don't, I'm not a big fan of big dogs. So uh, you know we got something. Something small and cute for my daughter. And she loves him to death, man. She, she whoops up on him, but he still come right back and hug on her, so. We see all these fun posts. What's your favorite part about Instagram and why? Man, just just showing people that you know that I'm that, that I'm real. And uh, and just being me on there and, and, and living, man. And and I get to travel the world and, and, and do fun things, you know. Just like, you know, traveling with baseball, man. It's, it's you know, who would've thought that I would be, you know, going different places and, meet different people and, and, and playing in different stadiums and that's that's pretty cool so i think the world should see that you know uh maybe maybe inspire somebody you know uh and just you know just having fun with it why should somebody follow you oh man because i'm gonna I'm, I'm here to entertain man i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you from top to bottom in my life you know what i listen to you know what am i what i'm gonna eat music rap music uh man just my family man it's, it's all good and uh all positive things and uh you know, just try to just show everything, everything, man, and, and just show people how I'm living and, and, and what I'm doing in the community and uh, how I'm a family man and how I'm always with my daughter and, and my wife. And, uh, you know, just, just, just try to be a role model for some of these kids that, that's, that's on Instagram. And, uh, you know, just show them that you, you, you can have fun and, uh, you know, that there's hope and, 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 and just keep living, man. And, and special things will happen.